We had first part yesterday, second part is today, and today we'll start with a resume of what was the first part yesterday. The topic is still livable cities for the 21st century, and the, and the point I want to make is that people-friendly city planning policies is a way to go to achieve better quality in cities. One of them being the city of Copenhagen. <clears throat> the first action in Copenhagen was closing the main street which was for traffic. It was done already in 1962. It was very, very early. It was one of the pioneers, and it was at the same time as Jane Jacobs was yelling in Greenwich Village that we must stop the motorists and the modernists to plan our cities. Then in Copenhagen, they pushed the cars out, and there was big crying out from the businessmen, everything will go broke, and it will never work because Danes are not Italians, and... Um, they will never use public space. Copenhagen, which is the city of one and a half million people now, uh, is the first city in the world where the use, where the way the people use the city was systematically documented and recorded. And that came to influence the planning in the city very much. This recording and these studies were done by the School of Architecture of the University and over the 50 years where all these studies were going on, gradually it was more and more done in collaboration with the city. So the city council, the politicians, they used all this information to make the city a better city. And Copenhagen also was the first city in the world where the city council made a statement saying, we will be the best city for people in the world. Every third family in Copenhagen have a cargo bike where they can transport goods or their children to sports and activities. And some of them there are my grandchildren and my daughter, and they are so happy about that they can do all this. And the kids, they like to sit in cargo bikes more, much more than being strapped in a car. In Copenhagen now, we have the modal split where 37% of everybody go to work on bicycle. That means there are much less traffic of cars than in any other cities of this site. But these figures are not the, the latest figure because the latest figure is that 45% of everybody commuting in Copenhagen, they use the bicycle, which means that it's a very peaceful city when it comes to traffic. We always know that when we go from there to there in a car, it takes eight minutes or five minutes, no problem with congestion.